Um, much respect to the uh, male man or woman. I think it's a woman who does my mail, who drove up my snowy driveway and then walked through like 17 feet of 10 inch deep snow to put this on my fucking stoop. Cause I hadn't gotten out to the clean yet. I just got out to the clean cause the cleaning ladies are coming, which you could always tell if my kitchen is clean, but not like clean, like move the tube amps off the counter. So she could have left this at the mailbox in a plastic bag, but she did not do that. And now I have, ooh. So yeah, yeah, weird little little side thing, antlion. And uh, I post in the pile, hold on, hold please. Hold that thought. Antlion and Ultrasone. I don't know if they've joined forces. Like here's the thing, Ultrasone has a really weird up reputation. Everybody pretty much likes Antlion and Mod Mics. And I asked them specifically, can you send me another wireless one? Because for this TV, I could mount this to the keyboard thing, and then it'll really be a cacophony of fucking weirdness. But then I could use, you know, Discord and Ventrilo and things like that. Oh my God, I said Discord first. So if you haven't seen this, this is the Mod Mic Wireless, which these are like safety security stickers, but they didn't rip when I took it off just now. So now it's just a pretty sticker. Can I peel this one off too? Now I have a challenge like to, to prove how, actually you can probably just, nope, there's one on the bottom. Let's just do this one. Mm-hmm, 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 yep, nope, oh. doesn't care, take those off, that you have to cut. So mod mics do a million versions, and the USB one's not bad, uh, I think the standard one you plug in is probably not as good, great for putting your vape in by the way, if you just want to take it out of this case. Okay, read this. Your mod mic wireless comes with a USB extension cable and cable anchor. Use these to keep wireless receivers sight. It's a muted and low battery. Wait, wait, uh, you, to use these, use these to keep your wireless receiver in line of sight so you can tell when it is muted or battery is on low. How does that work? Anyway, here's the mod mic wireless. Everyone that's on Pasta's Discord is screaming right now. Yeah, about fucking time, you suck. Oh, they're screaming. Um, I don't like taking the, you can take the cover off, but it's so fat. And then it has the omnidirectional, unidirectional. And then it has apparently, there's your magnet clasp. One of them got, it's real sticky. And you just boop that onto your, your headset or keyboard in my case. On off button, USB extension, here's your receiver. Yeah, it should be all good. In fact, that USB receiver is going to stick out a little bit too far. Um, we'll see how it goes. I might have to put that on the back of the unit. Well, the thing has amazing range. And I'm not keeping that. I'm not throwing this away. Well, there. Oh, fall in. What? What is that shit? Wow, well, I'm just leaving that there. Maybe I'll be able to read people's minds. That's a Twilight Zone reference. Next is, so anyway, back to the weird part. I don't know why, but Ultrasone has teamed up with Antlion in a way that now they want to like offer you, oh, you want to get an Antlion mod mic, you might as well get it with an Ultrasone. And I'm just like, eh. So they asked me if I wanted to review any of the Ultrasone and I picked out this model. For no other reason than it was the most promising looking in the specs. But people are real love hate with Ultrasone. Like the S logic thing where it's like, gets to people's brains innovation from bavaria you know like where the motor works are happening tape keeping an eye out for my uh, cleaning ladies they should be here at noon and it's quarter two they were here a half hour early last time and i hadn't finished cleaning up the kitchen so it was a little bit like god damn it these are terrible pads i could tell already so we got ripoff Bear Dynamic pads, but I guess it's from Bavaria. So maybe they get them from Bear Dynamic? Cause those are just smaller DT pads. Ultrasound bag. What the fuck is wrong with that girl's teeth? That girl's got like a black spot on one of her teeth. Okay, Ultrasound. A very Chinese silica packet, throw that away. An attached cable? Well, I guess, I guess an attached cable would make the most sense if you're trying to sell mod mics, because those are an attached cable also. 
so you don't want to demonstrate the fact that it doesn't come off. Well, they fold. Not terribly built. They feel they feel like monitors. I don't know why the game basically Mantline's a gaming company. So I'm gonna have to game in these. So I think I'm gonna whip out some planet side too. Clampy, I'll give them that. They got the clamp going. My ears actually do fit pretty comfortably inside those pads too. Alright, and so the other pads are just they don't feel like they're gonna be a benefit. I might try some Yaxies on these. I'm gonna try to make ultrasones like a likable thing. Because a lot of people don't like Ultrasone, and I don't blame them. I had to fall asleep with this set and wake up and then have like a fever dream before I was like, oh wow, these are actually interesting. Oh my god. Go away. Go away. They do block out sound really well. I don't hear my dishwasher running or anything. If I'm extra quiet, oh. I could hear it. So... I'll be sticking this on this, and then after I'm done sticking that on that, I should probably undo the wire. Oh no, I'm not done doing this wire. It's just, it's a shit show. It, it feels like a shit show. Just the feel of the plastic feels like it's never gonna not be that shape. You're looking at infinite jank. You'll know by the time the review comes out, because by the time the review comes out, if it hasn't unjanked, then it's fucked. So the latest package delivery I've ever received was today at, um, what well, happened 15 minutes ago? So it was 10.30 at night, or 10.34 at night. The Amazon Prime truck pulled up my driveway. I'm like, what? I hear gravel crunching and shit. So apparently they're real far behind because I could tell you right now, this does not contain two giant racks, which I was also supposed to get today. So um, I have a feeling the, uh, the heavy duty uh, holiday game is currently in effect. Uh, you've seen these all before. More caster switches. I did the whole caster review on the main channel. It's fantastic, by the way. These are the dimmable ones. I needed three more. I needed two more dimmers. Um, number one, I'm going to do... That's cute. I'm going to do one dimmer in my master bathroom for that, that ugly chandelier that I'm going to take down. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, here's what the screen looks like for the weather thing outside. It looks really good. Like, that's really much better than I thought I'd get for 50 bucks. That's fantastic looking. Um, it, I don't think it does the, the humidity correctly though, because it says it's 99% humidity out right now and it's 30 degrees and that would basically mean we're breathing ice. But um, wait, what was I saying before I got distracted by that? Oh, um, I want to put a dimmer in my garage for all the big lights up there. And I want to do a dimmer in my bathroom. So that's two dimmers, but they don't sell a two pack, they only sell three packs. And I have one extra dimmer which I might put back there for the porch lights, or for the, I'm sorry, porch veranda deck for the deck lights. Um, since that is just currently a single pole, just on off. I don't use them, but one day I will, and then I'm gonna have an extra thing, just go boop, just gonna go boop. I'm gonna pretty boop, pretty boop. These should be, they weren't that heavy though, so are they? Yeah, they are. These are... T oh, God, don't fall onto that. Okay, hold on. Just the two of us. This is my favorite pack material, by the way, because it's paper. And, like, you could buy it in giant rolls. I should just buy... I think I've gotten a lot of boxes in the last, like, couple days. It's going to be a whole fucking... That's an event. That's a live stream. Of, like, hey, everybody, we're going to cut up boxes... It's my favorite, and um, since the ladies are no longer taking my garbage out, I have to cut it up and transport it in a way that I actually feel proud of putting it on my like, sidewalk. Is this how this goes? I don't know how they... T they taped it in a way that prevents me from seeing the actual... how this is structured. Um, I think that knife just brushed gently against my fingertip. Thank God it's dull. Um... And they're the same thing, these two things. So I don't have to open both up for you. But what the other thing that was supposed to show up was supposed to go along with this, which these are rack mount shelves. Oh, good. Oh, goody. If I was starting a bonfire, I'd be fucking ready to go. Which apparently that's what a lot of people in the country out here do is they burn their cardboard. <laughs> 
But I mean, it's just like, I guess I could. And these are Nave Point shelves, which I'm fucking an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. I didn't realize that they're only one U and I really wanted to hire more U's. However, I, shit. I'm gonna do a custom mount job now. Do I have what it takes to do a custom mount job? Okay, so plan is two of these and two four foot racks. You know, my big metal racks that I hung my projection screen on and everything in the um, the home theater videos. Those are 40, those are, f how many, how many U are those? 44 U or something racks. And I bought some 22 U racks or 25 U racks, 22. So instead of being seven feet tall, they're only four feet tall. And the goal is when I want to have my review desk in the basement. Um, I'll be able to literally just pull a rack with a shelf and there'll be just vertical slices of amps and DAX. Just boom, everything I fucking never needed ever. And I'll have two of them. So I could do like one that's, you know, tubes on one side, solid states on another. Um, I'll try to figure out how I could wire them with just like a single, well, I want to use the, uh, that thing, the AS. But we'll get to that when we get to the racks. In the meantime, these are the only things that exist and shit on me, because I don't, I don't trust a 1U rack ear to hold the weight of all my amps. So I'm gonna have to do something underneath it. Or, you know what I was planning on doing? I wasn't gonna use these at all. This is gonna be like the auxiliary shelf. I'm gonna take a drawer. I have those three 2U drawers, which the top of that drawer is a big flat surface. So I could just put all the amps on top of that. I'll have amp, 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 like a bookshelf, a drawer, and then an auxiliary shelf underneath it. These are like $25 a piece, by the way. So, very well machined. Unlike the stuff from um, Sonic Fiber, which looked like China gave us some leftovers. Uh, at least the foam is good. So yeah, that's that. And uh, this is this, and cool.